from a way to get end portal frames to a secret cape given to only one player, here are 225 super secret Minecraft things you probably didn't know. Most people think that when breaking melons in Minecraft, you should use an axe, but this is actually not true. Well, yes, it is true that axes are the best tool for breaking a pumpkin when it comes to breaking melons, you should actually use a sword instead. I suppose it is the closest thing to a chopping knife in Minecraft. So Endermen noises are really creepy, but don't worry, as this Minecraft secret will make them far less creepy. The Enderman voices are actually just humans saying hello and what's up, but being played backwards and distorted, making them far less terrifying. Well, for the player. For me. Look, I'm more terrified! Flower picking is nobody's favorite pastime, but did you know that red flowers are actually considerably rarer than yellow flowers? If you have not already noticed, flowers spawn way too much, so you'll never actually see this fact in action. Climbing ladders is a very tiring job, but imagine how much more tiring it would be if you did not have any arms. Well, at one point, creepers were actually able to climb up ladders and it looked hilarious. If you're still using oak, acacia, or wood, you're a massive noob. Use bamboo instead. This is because bamboo is wood, but on steroids. How, you may ask? Well, bamboo grows super fast. And the best part, you can farm these almost instantly with just a stone sword. Mahaha! <laughs> All the bamboo is mine. Wait, maybe I should just buy wood from a villager instead. There are quite literally thousands of duplications glitches in Minecraft, but one of these is beyond overpowered. All you have to do is place fences below an end portal and drop a gravity block from three blocks above the portal. Unfortunately though, Mojang hates us having fun since this only existed in Java 1.19. Wait, what if I do this with- ah! Have you ever wanted a house that your friends will never find? Well, thanks to the giant mushroom, you can hide your entire base within this small mushroom and then everyone will just stroll on by and would never know you were there. The perfect hiding spot. And if you are lucky enough to find the Mushroom Island, it is completely mob-proof too. My garage in Minecraft is very, uh, empty. However, thanks to this build hack, I can create a car within my garage. Unfortunately, it is a little bit expensive to do. Simply use slabs, a minecart, and some signs, and you can create the body of your car. The best block to finish off the wheels is definitely the weather skull. Sheesh, time to go gathering, I guess. This next build hack breaks the golden rule in Minecraft, using stairs for your roof. However, you should be using walls instead. It makes this really interesting and different style to your roof. Despite everyone using stairs for the past 10 years, I may consider giving this a go. When pigs fly is something that you never see in Minecraft, but it should be when squids fly, since this hilarious mistake has led to squids being found flying in the air. Due to how squids are coded, for a while, players would find them flying through the air. Squids work by always flying. It is just normal for them to be flying underwater as opposed to above water. This led to hilarious looking flying squids. Mojang repeatedly says that the block that causes the most mistakes in the game is the piston. However, one of their biggest mistakes actually turned into a well-known feature of the game today. The mistake allowed pistons to be activated by a nearby block, which was directly above or diagonal to them. This was long before the introduction of redstone conductivity within blocks, and therefore it was something people really began to like. So Mojang decided to implement redstone conductive blocks into the game. Sand and gravel are two of the only blocks in the game to be affected by gravity, but sometimes you can find sand just floating there. This was actually a bug created by one of the developers for Mojang, which then went on to become a feature. The sand and gravel was meant to be fast traveled to the ground when it generated like this, but it was so fast that the game could not make it move. Eventually, the developer decided instead to add in dust particles so it could become a feature. The creeper is quite literally the face of Minecraft. However, Mojang is still desperately trying to make people forget that the creeper was a texture accident when developing the pig. While developing the pig texture, the texture suddenly drastically changed and would lead to the creeper. Mojang will never be able to cover this up. Bed Rock is one of the only unbreakable blocks in Minecraft that can be found anywhere. But breaking it is actually quite simple. First, you need two TNT blocks, one obsidian, two pistons, one lever, and a trapdoor. Grab some nearby blocks and then place the blocks like this. Get near the trapdoor and click the lever. This should put you under the trapdoor. This will activate the piston and the TNT as well. You need to be looking at the corner of the obsidian block and start spamming with your piston. When the TNT explodes, you will place the piston and that will break the bedrock. Or you'll explode. Enchanted books are a challenge to find if you have no villagers nearby. But did you know that different biomes have different chances to find these books? If you have a Badlands biome in 1.20, you will actually have better luck at finding these books. You have a 0.8% chance of finding these books without any enhancements. But in the Mesa, this goes up to 1.2%. Villagers are an extremely common mob, but there's actually a secret villager you can't find walking around naturally. And that's the Jungle Villager. At one point, Jungle Villagers were going to be added to Minecraft, but Mojang decided 
not to implement them, but they still kept this colorful guy in the game. All you have to do is take two villagers to a jungle biome, breed them, and then BAM! You get yourself a one-of-a-kind jungle villager. Despite being very useful, bamboo can be super annoying to get through. Most people will run through these bamboo jungles, breaking everything down with their axe. But did you know that the best option here is actually to hit it with your sword? And to make this even more insane, you can even do this with mining fatigue. If you look closely at your inventory, you will see that the hop bar is actually a repurposed sand texture. Turn the brightness up a bit, and you can see the sand in the background. Stock up on boats so you can cross any body of lava, including lava columns! If you put a boat into the lava, you have a split second to jump off it before it breaks. Leap forward and put another boat down to continue across the lava, until finally, you reach your friend's base. Did you know you can actually do a super jump with just a flint and steel? Set fire to a block and jump into the fire. Jump again as you take damage, and the impact will propel you a little higher, letting you jump two and sometimes three blocks high. No fence can stand in your way. Disguise yourself in deceptive Minecraft skins. Some of these are banned in many servers, but if you dress to look like the blocks the base is made of, you can blend in and sneak in behind your friends as they walk through the front door. Spawn a wither to help you break in. The wither's attacks can destroy almost any block in Minecraft. So, lure it to your friend's base and watch it make massive holes even in obsidian walls. Jump in and take their stuff. Use their XP farms against them. If it looks like this, and the bottom of the farm will often end up inside their base because it's more convenient for them. Climb into the top of the XP farm. It'll be funneled down to the bottom and you can break out into the heart of their base. This pig can walk through walls. If you ride a pig up to the wall of the base and then get off it, you can hit the pig and the brief damage reaction will nudge the pig a tiny bit into the wall. Quickly ride the pig and it will continue going forward, letting you ride right through the wall. Don't worry about punching your pig either. Just means free bacon in your friend's house. What if the base is hidden or has a secret entrance you just can't figure out? If you know the general area the base is, just eat a chorus fruit. It can teleport you to some crazy places, including through solid walls, ignoring the secret entrance completely. When you think of rare blocks in Minecraft, your mind instantly goes to things like ancient debris, diamonds, and deep slate emerald. However, you do not think instantly of pumpkins and melons, which is strange, as these blocks are actually some of the rarest blocks in the game. Well, that is until you find just one of them. Now I'm set forever! Everyone knows the main Minecraft versions are Java and Bedrock, but where did the idea for education mode come from? Well, back in 2013, a school in Sweden made Minecraft a mandatory part of their school curriculum. I wish I'd attended this school. There are 79 mobs in Minecraft, but you will never find four of these mobs naturally. This is because these mobs are locked behind cheats. Obviously, people know of the giants, but then there is also the zombie horse, the illusioner, and my personal favorite, the killer bunny. No, no, please let me go! When there is a piece of TNT about to destroy my base, my first thought is always to get away from it. But you should make sure your house has more windows because glass is surprisingly blast resistant. Obviously, it is nothing compared to obsidian, but it does have a chance of protecting you. This villager trade is so incredibly overpowered, you won't believe it exists. If you have a villager who trades emeralds for wheat in a desert village, you've just hit the jackpot, baby! All you need to do is go around the village, collect an absurd amount of hay bales, and craft all of them into wheat. Voila! Your very own emerald machine. The only downside to trading with villagers is that you'll be running out of emeralds very fast. So if you're a bit of a cheater like me, change the difficulty of your world to hard with a slash difficulty command, and lure a zombie to a villager with the best trades. Once the villager gets zombified, trap him in an iron blocks, place a bed, and start stuffing him with golden apples and potions. Now you've got yourself the best deals on the planet. Although this does feel kind of wrong. What's better than food? Free food! And you can get this easily if you use a campfire to cook it, because this uses zero fuel. I uh, know I'm being a cheapskate here, but a penny saved is a penny earned. Am I right? You can even attach a hopper to the campfire and always have food ready for you. Be honest, how many times have you died at the worst time possible and lost everything? So if you don't want to end up like Filza, here's a trick to get infinite health and save all your goodies. First, eat an enchanted golden apple, and follow that up immediately with a plain golden apple. Wait for the absorption effect to run out, and then do this all over again. Do this correctly, and even the ender dragon can't do anything to you. Okay, maybe you can, but you get the point. Tired of having to line your garden in torches? Well, why don't you try this building hack, which lets you have the same brightness as glowstone without having the ugly blocks be visible. Break a hole into the ground, place a piece of glowstone or another light block, and then cover it with moss. Obviously, this only works in plains biomes. Have you ever wanted to build a secret base inside of a snowy mountain? You should use powdered snow. If you place two powdered snow in front of the entrance to your mountainside base, and as long as you remember to wear your leather boots, you can go in fine, and everyone else will fall into the snow. Everyone knows about hiding a secret entrance behind a painting, but this house will tear apart your friendships. Since you can create this huge lava ravine behind the painting, 
painting. Make sure you make it obvious that there is something behind your painting and voila, you have tricked your friend into one of the most embarrassing deaths ever. A redstone ore is the only reactive ore. Whenever you walk past redstone ore or interact with it, it will light up and then go dark again, except for deep slate redstone ore. Mojang clearly forgot to make deep slate redstone ore go darker after a while, so now you can use it as a light block. Wait, why is it so dark? Ah! Everyone knows that you can fly in survival Minecraft. You can do this with an elytra, boats, and even with a pig? However, what most people didn't know is that you used to be able to fly up using a fishing rod. All you need to do this is a fishing rod and a minecart between updates 1.9 and 1.15, and then just spam away. Ugh, I think I've flown a bit too high. Uh -oh. Item duping has been a huge issue in Minecraft since day one. No matter what Mojang does, they just can't fix it. However, in the current version, this feels way too easy. Simply place a chest and save and close your game. Reopen the world and instantly open your chest and put everything in before closing your game with shift and escape. Open up task manager and close Minecraft. Reload the game and you have all your duplicated items. I'm rich! Breathing underwater is impossible unless you have a helmet with respiration. But what if you wanted to explore a submerged cave and did not have this enchantment? Well, well, why don't you just make a bucket? Since if you swim forwards and just keep clicking with the bucket, your oxygen should not go down. Take that, Mojang! The Far Lands have become an iconic part of Minecraft's history, and now Mojang wants you to forget they ever existed due to how they were actually an accidental bug. The way this worked would be that eventually the world would stop generating chunks, and therefore the chunks would try to generate themselves and would cause the area to completely bug out. Did you know that you can get rid of effects without using milk? First introduced in the Caves and Cliffs update, axolotls are adorable little creatures who seem serve no purpose. However, did you know that these creatures can actually get rid of negative effects? If you bring an axolotl to an underwater temple, they will attack the nearby guardians. If you help it to defeat one of these pesky mobs, the axolotl will give you regeneration and get rid of any negative effect you have. Speaking of mobs, you can get rid of any mob spawning without using any kind of light source. If you place carpets on your floor or slabs, then mobs won't be able to spawn on top of them, meaning you don't need to cover your floor in torches. Did you know torches in Minecraft emit a light level of 14? But light levels in Minecraft can go up to 15, going from 0 to 15, where 0 is a block that does not emit light. However, the best light blocks are sunlight, beacons, jack-o'-lanterns, fire, glowstone, lanterns, and end portal frames for some reason. Minecraft doesn't want you to know this as they are clearly trying to ruin your build. Armor has not changed much since Minecraft's release, besides the addition of netherite and armor trims, but I bet you don't know that there was an entire set of armor that was deleted from the game. Originally, in between leather armor and chainmail armor, we had the studded armor. This was kind of like clay mixed with chainmail that had less durability than chainmail. And to this day, we still don't know why it was removed. Observers nowadays have hilarious little faces to show which side is looking at blocks. But it was not always this way. Observers used to have two sides which were both sensors, but everyone found it too confusing, including Mojang developer Jeb, who chose to just add a face. In snowy areas, some bases will have secret entrances covered with powdered snow. Wait until night, and if you see some snow on a mountain that's slightly brighter than the rest, that's light coming through from the inside. Get an elytra and fly straight into that snow. You'll pass right through into the base. If your friend is a locked door, make your own redstone mechanism to open it. Nothing is stopping you from bypassing whatever complex system they made inside the walls by just placing down and activating a redstone block against the door. If your friend's base has its own private nether portal, then use that as a way in. Find the coordinates of the connected portal in the nether by taking the overworld coordinates of the base and dividing the X and the Z by 8. That's where the portal in the nether will be, giving you a back door into the protected fortress. If the building you're breaking into is full of death traps, just stock up on totems of undying. It's way easier than trying to avoid everything. Just take the hit and keep on moving. Players will often have secret tunnels that lead far away to their stash. If you x-ray by crawling and pressing a slab into your face with a piston, you can seek out small separate rooms filled with blocks. Dig toward those because they're less likely to be well defended and will have a corridor straight into the base. Minecraft 10 years ago was a very different game to what it is nowadays. The game used to be filled with bugs, reused textures, animations, and so much more. However, this next fact may make you rethink the origins of the creepers, since they used to explode into leaves? Maybe at one point the creepers were meant to be some kind of leaf monster, but who really knows as this may have been just lazy coding. Sometimes you want to get different colored wool, but you are far too lazy to search for the different types of dye. Well, did you know that you can breed different colored sheep together to make different colors? For example, a blue and red sheep bred together will make a purple sheep. This is some really good 
attention to detail. Players will often use coal in their furnaces. However, this next secret is going to make your smelting considerably easier. If you were to smelt a single block of coal, you would be able to cook 80 raw pork chops. But if you use 9 coal, you would only be able to cook 74. This might be the most confusing math question I have ever heard. Everyone knows that Minecraft was originally called Cave Game before becoming Minecraft. But did you know there was actually another name in between these? Minecraft was originally going to be far more story driven and therefore it needed a name truly befitting of this style. And therefore Mojang once worked with the name Minecraft, Order of the Stone. This is most likely also where the name of the group in Minecraft story mode came from. One of Minecraft's most valuable objects is Ender Pearls. Unfortunately, getting them can prove to be quite difficult because of a certain someone. First, I'll let you in on a secret. You can fix this problem in seconds. All you need to do is build a massive hole like so and build a tower right above it when you're in the end dimension. But this should be at least three blocks high. This is because Endermen are roughly the same height as this. So once they fall in, they can't even touch you. Ah, oh, come here, you cutie. Look, he's harmless. Ah, I spoke too soon. Look at how boring this armor looks. And look at it now. Did you see how much of a difference having an armor trim makes? And my personal favorites are the silence and water armor trims. But when it comes to looting them from ancient cities, my luck is straight up horrible. No, stay away from me! Anyway, there are a few things you can do to maximize both your loot and safety in ancient cities. One of these is always using a recovery compass to make sure that your loot is never lost and you can continue from where you left off. This tree house has the most bizarre staircase ever. If you ever want to make a natural looking staircase, use trap doors and slabs. This lets the staircase blend into the natural environment surrounding it. However, it does make the staircase slightly unbearable to climb. Armor stands are boring! However, I found a way to build an awesome base defense mechanism. By using a number of different blocks, you can build these amazing looking statues to defend your house from any unwanted invaders. They are certainly a lot more imposing than anything else I've ever seen. Tables are kind of boring within Minecraft. You can either have this fence with a pressure plate on top or this one. However, there is one way to build a table for your dining room that breaks the rules. Simply use trap doors instead. This still makes the table look normal, but does not make it too big. What a lovely design. Starting out on any Minecraft world can be tough. However, did you know that technically every house you build breaks the rules? According to the official Minecraft handbook, your first house should always look like this. You are kidding, right, Mojang? I have been in this world for years and I still live in a rectangular wooden box. X-ray is something that almost every server will ban you for using. However, in single player, it can make finding items considerably easier. This glitch allows you to x-ray within your single player world to find those valuable items. Mojang just cannot get rid of this horrendous mistake. On Bedrock Preview 1.19, Mojang messed up and made a glitch that gave you unlimited bone meal. In the patch, Bedrock Edition would not see grass as something that used bone meal. However, when you use bone meal on grass, it would grow without using the bone meal in your inventory. I'm not sure how useful this is, but it was certainly a bad mistake. Getting experience is very annoying in Minecraft. However, in Bedrock Edition, you could actually get unlimited XP. When the skulk block was added, using a silk touch hoe on the block would both break the block and give you experience. But the silk touch would let you pick up the block, meaning that you had a free XP farm. Shields have become one of the most useful items in Minecraft. Defending yourself from a skeleton, use a shield. Blocking a massive nuclear explosion, use a shield. But what happens when you find yourself trapped in the middle of a raid, but you have no shield with a ravager tearing down your door? Well, let's hope you grabbed a pillager banner, as crafting this with your shield will actually restore it. This seems a bit game breaking, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. Ah! Minecraft Java and Bedrock Editions are the same in every way except for coding, right? Well, actually no. Since in Bedrock Edition with the new sniffer plants, you actually get less value. If you were to craft a pitcher plant in Minecraft Java Edition, you would get two cyan die. However, on Bedrock Edition, the exact same craft only gives you one. This feels very unfair to those on Bedrock. Another error that Mojang made has been in the game now for nearly 10 years. Prior to this year's 1.20 update, Minecraft had a bug that was left in the game. When you take damage, your character will flinch to the left. But this is not how the damage wobble is meant to work. You are actually meant to flinch in the opposite direction of where the damage came from. And this glitch had been in the game for over 10 years. Diamonds are not the rarest store in Minecraft. The rarest store in Minecraft is, of course, Deep Slate Coal. Well, Deep Slate Coal is very hard to find, as coal tends to spawn at much higher levels than Deep Slate. I never thought coal would be a rare resource. Mojang is generally good at dealing with glitches. However, because Minecraft is a sandbox, I have found countless ways to exploit certain problems with the game's code, including crashing an entire server with just a player head. If players get this particular player head in the game and then give it to their friend, the server you are playing on will entirely crash. And when it comes to crashing, Minecraft is generally pretty good. But did you know you can crash your game with this easy glitch? Thanks to the Dream SMP, players found out that they could create a ghost version of themselves using a boat. If you click really quickly on a boat, sometimes you can walk away from the boat, or the game still thinks you are in the
the boat. Unfortunately, this only works on a server, but it makes for some hilarious trolling. Here's another troll that you can do. And all you'll need is a bubble elevator and some harming potions. If you are being chased by your friend on a server and you rush to the top of your bubble elevator and throw harming potions into it, it will float until a player hits them, meaning your friend takes heaps of damage. The server owner can use creative to build a house out of bedrock. Break through with the latest bedrock cracking machine. Using a piston, a trapdoor, some TNT, obsidian, and a lever, you can glitch the game to destroying the bedrock and letting you in. They say the safest base is a hidden one. So how do you break in if you can't even find it? Look for the FPS drop. If you turn on the FPS counter using the settings on your PC or FN plus F3 on a Mac, you can see how fast your game is running. If you're out in the wilderness, the FPS should be high. But if there's a bunch of entities nearby like chess, players, or armor stands, the FPS will take a slight dip. That means the base is nearby. Start digging! This insane block placement glitch lets you climb invisible ghost blocks. If you swap a block into your offhand and place it at the same time, it will exist in the world but be invisible. You can climb walls without a trace. But even better, if you use slime blocks, it will launch you into the air, letting you scale tall towers at high speed. These walls are too thick. Better use a TNT cannon. Make an obsidian rectangle that's seven blocks long with an open end toward the wall. Add a block up on the left side here. Put a water block at the back and a slab at the front. Set TNT on the slab and up to but not including the water block. Then put two levers with redstone. One is for the TNT on the ground, the other for the slab TNT. Activate the first and watch them flow. Then before they explode, activate the other. It launches forward and smashes the base. Reload with TNT and do it again until you breach the walls. You can ignite TNT from miles away with this glitch. If you attach a fishing rod to something and walk into the nether, the game will glitch and your fishing rod will have infinite range. Use it to set off TNT next to the enemy base from as far away as you can and they'll never know it was you. If you run over and pretend to help, you can get into the base and take what you like. I hate gathering books in Minecraft. It takes forever and it's not even any fun to do. So instead, I use this Minecraft secret to get 700 blocks within an instant. If you find a stronghold with a single library and break each one, you get a maximum of 699 books. I can finally go on my cow killing spree. Minecraft's music discs are really quite weird. However, the weirdest is probably music disc 11. The music disc is so true to itself that it actually lasts 1 minute, 11 seconds, and 101 milliseconds, or 111111. There truly is no disc in Minecraft quite like it. Minecraft has some amazing structures and some less amazing structures. The stronghold is a perfect structure, whereas the underwater ruins are just kind of meh. Well, little did people know that these ruins can have some of the rarest items in the game and are considerably more valuable than you would initially think. Have you ever looked at a map of your world and thought how similar they all look? Well, this is actually because of how the terrain is generated, and this fact will shock you. Minecraft wants to create a world for the viewer that feels as natural and real as possible, and so they use an algorithm based on Perlin noise, which leads to the incredibly diverse landscapes you see in Minecraft. Honestly, just compare this image to a Minecraft seed, and you will see what I mean. Secondly, only massive noobs search for ancient cities manually. Just head on over to Chunk Base and plug in your world seed to find all the ancient cities next to you. But Malo, is it this cheating? Hey, we want to get rich, all right? Who cares about ethics? You might not believe me, but it's possible to x-ray through the entire ocean without downloading any... <coughs> external help. Ahem, ahem. All you need is a potion of night vision. Chug this down and immediately go into your settings to turn your brightness to 50. This allows you to see for miles without the danger of Mojang unaliving you in seconds. Finding ocean monuments, geodes, strongholds, and ultimately insane amounts of treasure has never been easier. Alerting skulk sensors is one of the most horrifying experiences in the game. And there's a huge probability that you'll die and lose all your goodies. But this is easily fixed by setting up an infinite sound machine. Just place down a Skulk Sensor, Redstone Repeater, and Trapdoor. Not only does this prevent the Warden from chasing you, but it'll give you enough time to sweep through the entire ancient city. Why the hell does this work so well? Gardens in Minecraft are kind of boring. You could have an amazing house, but have a bad garden, and it brings down the entire aesthetic of the house. So, how can you have brilliant lighting in your garden without placing torches everywhere? Instead, use Glow Lightchain, a perfect block for lighting up your pathways whenever you do not want to line your pathways in torches or lanterns. And it's hidden from your sights unless you really look for it. Creating a lawn in Minecraft is normally done by just using grass blocks. However, if you want to bring some texture and color to your lawn, use this technique. By using moss blocks and grass blocks, you will create this golf course looking grass aesthetic. It certainly makes my lawn look a lot cleaner. When Minecraft was still being developed, Mojang did not have any in-game commands to summon items or mobs. So what they would do was code a Minecraft player to have loads of items. The mistake with this, however, came from one of Minecraft's developers. Jeb came forward to tell the public how there was a bad glitch, but players would spawn in with hundreds of new items simply because they forgot
forgot to remove the code. Jeb said that this even led to them creating a release document that said, remember to remove all the debug items. One hilarious mistake Mojang made came while creating the squid map. Back when Minecraft was just a small indie game, the developers were struggling to code in the squid. Since they did not entirely understand how the system worked, they decided to copy the cow and just mess around with it. Copying a cow, however, led to squids being able to be milked, meaning that for a time, squid milk was actually a thing in Minecraft. One mistake that Mojang developer Surge made actually stayed in the game for three years, and no one noticed. According to Surge, he messed up parts of the world generation so that the direction right was actually forward and back was actually left. The funny part of this is that nobody noticed, despite how infuriating this mistake may be. Fireworks and elytras have become paired with each other. You will never use an elytra without having its trusty sidekick nearby. However, this was not always the case. When the elytra was first added to the game, firework rockets did nothing. The elytra was meant to be more of a glider than wings, and so Mojang decided to not implement a way for them to fly. Until players discovered all they had to do was shoot themselves with a punch two bow, then they would be able to fly to their heart's content. Another weird moment in Minecraft's history that Mojang would like to forget was when the Ender Dragon was so buggy it would just fly there and dance. And this can even still happen to this day. This next secret is even more hilarious. One thing you would not expect in Minecraft is an Easter egg for Age of Empires. If you have an Evoker next to a blue sheep, the Evoker will actually change the sheep to be red. This is a reference to priests in Age of Empires who turn your units into enemy units. I have found a secret which is absolutely game-breaking. The Nether is a very dangerous place for any Minecraft player. However, for those who want to fight the Ender Dragon, they have to go to the Nether and fight one of the hardest enemies in the game, the Blaze. However, did you know Blazes have one big weakness in Snowballs? Throwing Snowballs at these Blazes will actually damage them and make killing them a little bit easier. Did you know that giving a wolf certain effects will make its tail spin? You just need to give a wolf maximum regeneration, health boost, and absorption, and then he will become a very happy doggo. One other secret comes from armor stands. If you look at the texture for armor stands in the bottom right, you would see the name Surge. This is actually the name of the person who implemented armor stands into the game. Also, if you look on the bottom left, you will see the name Jaffa, who was a texture artist for the armor stand. Certainly a nice Easter egg for the developers. This base is covered in lava! Clear it with sand and scaffolding. Make a square of sand with a block square of sand in the corner. Each block will sink down and delete the lava in that space. Fill up to the surface so you can walk on it, then delete the top block of that one extra sand in the corner. Replace it with scaffolding and right-click on it to fill the rest of the lava. The scaffolding doesn't burn and deletes the lava! Take the sand block down and repeat the process until the base is revealed! If the base is in the air and you don't have a elytra, make a man cannon instead. Put some obsidian around a ton of TNT and minecarts. If you have blast protection, a shield and stand on a higher level than the TNT, you can survive and still get launched way into the air. Hit yourself with punch arrows and you can get real distance onto that floating building. A secret base can be hidden underwater and it can be very hard to see. The easiest way to find it is to get in a boat and do this weird vision trick. When in the boat on the water, if you go into third person view, you can angle the camera to just about touch the water surface. The vision will glitch and show you everything under the water without that underwater filter, making any odd structure or entity easy to find. Watch out for pitfall traps! If the floor disappears under you and the trap is revealed, do this crazy flying glitch. To do it, have the game in windowed mode. And when the floor falls away, right click on the window bar at the top. You'll freeze in the air. You'll need a fellow home invader with you to put a block under you. So when you click on the game to unfreeze, you'll land safe and sound. Trap avoided. Everyone knows about the iconic Minecraft music created by David Rosenfeld, or as he is better known, C418. But did you know he actually has a plethora of songs that were never added to the game? Whether that be for disagreements with Microsoft or for his own personal requirements for a song to be good enough, we will likely never know. Minecraft seed hunting is really quite cool, and players have even found things like the title screen, the world icon seed, and even this next secret seed which has a huge generation of Notch's face. Sometimes you can't help but feel like Minecraft is lacking a lot of customizability. However, in older versions of the game, this wasn't the case. As back in Minecraft 1.7.2, there were some super secret endings that would let you change how the entire game looked. My favorite addition to the game from the Caves and Cliffs update was definitely the axolotls, and in particular the highly elusive blue axolotl. However, did you know that this is the only version of the axolotl that cannot be found in real life? The blue axolotl was actually suggested by user Dark Eyes Flame on Reddit, where he suggests a blue axolotl be added to reference Mudkip from Pokemon. Just look how adorable he is! Have you ever wanted to place the same sign above multiple different chests? Well, this little known detail will save you tons of time doing this. If you are in a creative world and you press Ctrl plus middle click on a block, it will copy everything about the block, including any writing. This even works for chests and lets you duplicate the items. I will be rich beyond your wildest dreams! Lightning is one of the weirder weather types within Minecraft. If lightning strikes a creeper, you get a charge.
charged creeper. If it strikes a pig, you get a zombie pigman. But what happens if it strikes a turtle? Well, you get a bowl. Now all I need is some milk and cereal. The compass is probably one of the most useless items in Minecraft. Its only function in vanilla Minecraft is pointing towards the world spawn. Well, actually, that is not entirely true. If you were to go into your inventory, you would notice that the direction of the compass can actually change based on where you are in your world. That is because the compass will always point to the north when you are in your inventory. Now I know where to avoid. It's cold up there. Everyone knows that raw chicken in Minecraft has a chance to poison you. This is largely based on real life. However, did you know that crouching in Minecraft while eating raw chicken can actually lower the chance you have of getting poisoned? I think this is a reference to what happens when you eat chicken that may not be as good as you thought. Everyone knows about Minecraft Java, Bedrock, and Education Edition. But did you know there is actually one secret version of Minecraft you probably didn't know existed? Minecraft, much like many other games, has an entire version that is solely for China. Because China is the largest video video game market in the world, of course Minecraft would make an exclusive version for China. I bet you never knew how weird coal generation really is. Usually, Minecraft creates two batches of coal per chunk, with each batch existing at different Y values. One of these exists between Y equals 136 and Y equals 256, while the other is between Y equals 0 and Y equals 192. This gives us a perfect estimate for where we can find the most coal, which is from Y equals 136 and Y equals 192. Since the ranges for both both batches will overlap at these values. But most times, this generation isn't equal, and blobs spawn randomly, with most of them being found at Y equals 96. Now you know exactly where you should be farming it. When a warden starts chasing you, good luck surviving that. So, what do you do in a situation like this? Well, you're gonna have to make sure your armor is enchanted with Swift Sneak 2 or higher, which will allow you to get away. However, you still need to be careful of the warden's ranged attack, because that thing is no joke. And if you have the time, pull down your render distance down to two chunks. The moment you stop hearing a footsteps means that he's far enough and will most likely calm down. I'm finally safe! Contrary to popular belief, growing crops isn't as simple as just smacking down a few seeds into the ground. There's actually a technique that goes into how you plant them. From your water source, move out four blocks diagonally. And then from this one, continue tiling until you're almost two blocks ahead of your water source. Then start tiling in the opposite direction until you have an almost checkerboard pattern like this. Now, I know this looks insanely cursed, but it's the most efficient way to farm. And since these need at least a night level of nine to grow properly, don't forget to throw on a few torches. Don't mind me and my infinite supply of melon. The only plant in Minecraft that grows on a wall is a cocoa bean. However, in a lot of house gardens, this can look a bit wrong. What you should be doing instead is mixing in redstone ore with the wall and then covering it up with vines. This creates this incredibly unique hanging roses design that certainly no one at Mojang ever planned. Unfortunately, mirrors cannot be added into Minecraft. This is largely due to how Minecraft runs and mirrors can really affect that. However, some players have taken it upon themselves to create a slightly different illusion to create mirrors and reflective surfaces, rebuilding the entire room as a reflection. This works really well for any reflective floors and breaks the rules that there are no mirrors in the game. Signs are one of the most useful items in Minecraft, perfect for organizing your items once and then completely disregarding them. However, did you know that you can see sign text for a candle in the Bedrock Edition? This glitch desperately needs to be patched by Mojang, but hey, you should listen to the sign. There are very few blocks in Minecraft that will speed up minecarts, and even to this day, people are infuriated by how slow they can be. But if you mix a boat and a minecart and then add a villager into the mix, you can actually make minecarts go faster. And the best part is, you do not need to mine for hours to get all the gold and redstone. Now I can make my massive gold statue. Everyone knows how to break bedrock with TNT. But did you know that there is an even easier way to break bedrock that doesn't require you to spend hundreds of hours building elaborate machines? Just get yourself a drip leaf and bone meal it. That will destroy anything in its path. One of my favorite items in the game is the goat horn. However, in Snapshot 22W17A, if you went into your creative inventory on the snapshot, it seems that Mojang wanted the goat horn to be the do it all block. Do do do! Come, my goat army! A fishing rod is one of the most versatile items in the game. You can reel in just about anything, whether that be fish, mobs, armor stands, shulker attacks, and even players. Another funny Easter egg by the developers was the introduction of languages to the game. Now, most of these languages are pretty normal. However, some stick out as being a bit bizarre. These languages are lolcat, pirate speak, Shakespearean, and upside down English. But the most well-known are definitely Klingon and one of the Elvish languages from Lord of the Rings. Obsidian is one of the hardest blocks in Minecraft. But did you know it has the same explosion resistance as a leaf block? Simply waterlog the leaf block and then explode away and your precious chest of diamonds will be completely fine. Did you know snow golems are the hardest mob to trap in Minecraft? They will always be looking for a way out of anything you trap them in, leading to some hilarious snow golem maze possibilities. Help! I'm falling and I have nothing to clutch with! Well, if you had a potion of slow falling, you could easily save 
yourself. Simply throw the potion at the floor as you land and you will save yourself from certain death. Speaking of certain death, there is only one mob that can instantly kill you in Minecraft. And believe it or not, it is not the Warden, Wither, or Ender Dragon, but actually the Charged Creeper. One explosion from a Charged Creeper is enough to kill you in full netherite armor. Did you know that you can make potions with a crafting table? Well, sort of. If you craft suspicious stew, you can give yourself any potion effect in the game. And it all depends on what flower you use to make the stew. Alliums, for example, will give you fire resistance. However, one of these flowers is more unique, and that is the Lily of the Valley. If you made suspicious stew using this flower, it would actually poison you. This is because the Lily of the Valleys is actually a poisonous flower in real life. If the floor of your friend's base is only slab, then dig a tunnel under the ground of the building. Put a single water source block to have a little water flow through. If you ride a boat in that one block space, the water will bob you up through the floor and even let you interact with objects inside, like the button to open the door. Boats are amazing and can be used to break into buildings in a lot of ways. Put one on the roof and you can phase through by jumping in and out of the boat with perfect timing. Your friend might put an elder guardian near their base, giving you mining fatigue, making it way harder to break blocks to get in. That's why you should always bring buckets of milk. But if you don't have that, set up a bed spawn nearby and kill yourself! Mining fatigue is a five minute cooldown, so you'll have plenty of time to break in and loot the place before it can hit you with it again. Uh oh! Shulker sensors have been placed all over this minefield. One noise, and it all goes up! You could sneak by, but you can easily get caught. So you've got to move fast! The answer is to jump and sneak. If you constantly jump the entire way and press the sleep button, just as you hit the ground each time, you can go fast and stay quiet enough for the sensors not to notice you. This next trick will let you fly up to high buildings without TNT or Elytra. The trick is to get your own pet shulker. You need to catch them in a boat or minecart that leads to the end gate out of the end city, and eventually through the main end portal into the overworld. Throw them away in a boat toward the target base and let yourself get cursed with levitation. You'll fly up into the sky, and with a good enough levitation, it won't matter how high the base is. Back when Minecraft was just a small indie game, they were able to create updates incredibly quickly. However, the amount of time it took to fully create Minecraft will shock you. It only took not six days to create the first full version of Minecraft. Yet nowadays, it takes them a year to implement a single mob from a rigged vote. Come on, Mojang. Notch is known for being a bit controversial. However, the reason he sold Minecraft is actually quite wholesome. When Notch was looking to sell his shares in Minecraft, he took to Twitter and found out Microsoft were interested in buying them. But before selling them, Notch asked that his staff be taken care of going forward. Well, at least one good thing came out of the selling of Minecraft. When you create a world in Minecraft, you have a couple of different options. From a regular world to an amplified Minecraft world, there are so many options. However, did you know there is actually a hidden world type called debug mode? Debug mode is a hidden world type that can be accessed by holding the alt key while pressing the world type button. This world is way too trippy for my liking. Minecraft has a long history of cancelled updates and features from the satchel all the way to the numerous cancelled mob votes. However, one cancelled feature was actually removed all the way back in Java edition 1.2.1, and these are hieroglyphic textures. Believed to have been planned to come into the game alongside the desert pyramids, these hieroglyphics were scraps and never added. You should always have a hoe that is enchanted with Fortune 3 when farming, which will allow you to quite literally triple the rate at which you can get food. For example, you can get up to 9 melon slices for each melon block farmed. This enchantment is so broken. Farming levels can be one of the most time-consuming aspects of playing Minecraft, especially when you don't have an XP farm starting out. So, one of the best ways to get levels while being relatively safe is by farming nether quartz in the nether. Not only does this have a 45% chance of spawning, meaning it's literally everywhere, but it is also the best source to farm for experience right after diamond, since it'll give you experience ranging anywhere between 2 to 5 points. Once you reach higher levels, you might find yourself struggling with experience. So here's how to get infinite XP while using a furnace, smelt a material like iron, and just as it's done, swap it out with an already smelted iron. The only currency this will cost is your patience. There are some mods that add things like cookers and microwaves into the game, but did you know you can actually do this in vanilla Minecraft? Well, if you use iron trap doors and surround the block with a painting on it, you can create this amazing looking microwave. As for the cooker, just put an iron trap door on top of a furnace and it looks like a stove. Animal farms in Minecraft are boring. You always have a fence surrounding some animals on a grass block plot. However, this tiny little detail will help bring your animal pens to life. If you have a chicken pen, scatter some little hay beds around on an item frame and then place an egg within the item frame. And all of this this just uses a horn coral fan. But make sure you waterlog the block it is on, otherwise it begins to look a little bit dead. Minecraft houses rarely come with bathrooms. This is both due to your player never using the bathroom and also how hard they are to create. However, this exceptional design lets you create a shower that actually looks like a shower. So no longer conform to your gamer tendencies. Build this shower today! Fish are some of the most underappreciated mobs in Minecraft. However, you can build these fish or 
all breaking home using just one block. Scaffolding can be waterlogged, and then you can place your adorable little fishy friends into this fish tank. Just make sure you do not break the scaffolding. <laughs> Mobs keep breaking into my bases, and I am tired of it! So I found this amazing house hack that will stop any mobs from entering my house. Whenever a zombie chases me into my house, I turn around, open up this trap door, and watch them fall to their death. <laughs> there are so many mobs within the game. However, there is one mob still in the game who Mojang have forgotten about themselves. The giant was introduced over 11 years ago to be this brand new dangerous mob, but then nothing ever happened with it. Imagine walking through the plains biome and suddenly coming face to face with a giant. I know I would be terrified. I found an item that was immensely broken in its pre-release, but the weirdest part is that it's not even an item anyone would use in a normal playthrough. In pre-release 1.17, Mojang made the hanging root item have way too big of an icon when dropped on the floor, making it considerably larger than anything else in the game, and it isn't even that nice of a block. For the most part, Mojang has made a lot of textures very successfully. However, have you ever had a deeper look at some textures that perhaps are not as good as they should be? Time for a quick fire! The first messed up block is actually redstone dust. It does not even connect up properly. Iron armor is a really useful early game armor set. But have you ever noticed how the iron helmet does not even match what it looks like in your inventory? Or my personal favorite, the cauldron being misaligned by one pixel. I have ruined Minecraft for a lot of people today. Skeletons are the most broken mobs in the game with their aimbot. If you don't move, they are practically guaranteed to hit you. But did you know that you can trick a skeleton into shooting itself? When you come face to face with a skeleton, build up a couple of blocks and have the skeleton shoot directly up at you. If you position it just right, you can have the skeleton shoot itself. Did you know the beacon has had four different textures in its history? Initially, it was just a slightly smaller glass block. Then they added in this weird little crystal, much like an end crystal. Then they changed it to be this weird diamond-coated glass block, before finally settling on what we have today. In survival, you cannot get end portal frames. Well, you can't get them anymore. As back in 1.9, you actually used to be able to obtain these frames. All you have to do is find this weird blue end portal frame, and then place one TNT in the middle, and voila! You have an end portal flame. Back in 1.19, Mojang had an amazing idea. Have frogs jump through the air to catch and eat fireflies. It seemed perfect to Mojang and everyone was super excited. However, this is when Mojang found out that fireflies can actually be poisonous to a lot of frogs, so they decided that it was best to remove it from the game. Name tags are a very useful, but very difficult to find item, only coming from villages and dungeons. But did you know that there is a way to name multiple mobs with just one name tag? Simply find a giant slime and name it whatever you want, then defeat it and all of the baby slimes will have the same name. Crazy, right? New subterfuge! If your friend is in need of a certain a mob like a particular villager or perhaps the ultra rare brown panda, get one for yourself and offer to bring it to their base. You can lead it over and you'll get access to the base as you bring the creature into its new home. Once inside, steal as many items as you can. It's fair payment for such a rare panda. An endangered species, you know. Fencing has been used to cover this entire opening. There's no way in without breaking it. Unless you get a trap door. The crawl mechanic actually changes your hitbox. And with a fence like this, if you set up a trap door right next to it and make yourself crawl, you'll be halfway through the fence already. Just keep moving through and you'll slide right in without breaking a single block. Cats in Minecraft have a pretty bizarre history. When they were first introduced, you would have to tame an ocelot, and then you would get a cat. But this was eventually revoked, and a separate cat mob was created. But did you know that the ocelots are quite weird in how they spawn in Minecraft, as technically they are considered a hostile mob? This is true as they will not spawn in a peaceful world in Minecraft. No! Come back, little key! There is only one place you can find naturally spawning carpets, and that is the Woodland Mansion. However, you cannot find every type of carpet carpet here. The Woodland Mansion in Minecraft Bedrock Edition is unable to spawn with orange or light blue carpets. This is because light blue carpets are used in the ancient cities and then orange carpets appear in villages within the savanna, meaning that every carpet can be found naturally within the game. There are not many mobs in Minecraft that never touch the ground, but the ones that we know of are alleys, vexes, and gas. However, did you know that these mobs are still capable of destroying turtle eggs? For those who do not know, turtle eggs will break when a mob or player stands on top of them, and this will also happen if an alley floats above them for some strange reason. Job blocks were first added in Minecraft 1.14, and this brought blocks like the lectern, fletching table, cartography table, and more. Some of these blocks were actually meant to be added into the game beforehand, such as the lectern, which Dinnerbone developed back in 2012. However, the job block proved to be far too buggy and was pushed all the way back to 2018. Did you know that glazed terracotta can actually spawn naturally? Well, despite it being one of the ugliest blocks in the game, you can actually find almost every type of glazed terracotta in the wild. The reason I say almost every is because you cannot find green, magneta, or pink glazed terracotta naturally in the overworld. Again, I hate these blocks, so really would not have an issue if none of them could be found naturally. When you grow sugarcane, it can only grow up to three blocks tall. However, did you know that sugarcane that spawns naturally actually has a one in nine chance?
chance to generate four blocks tall. Wow, so much sugar and it's all for me! When Minecraft were developing the deep dark, they were trying to make the best blocks and environment for the new part of the cave system. So much so that at one point they were testing out some different names for Deep Slate, and were at one point about to call Deep Slate Grimstone instead. This would have been a far more eerie name for the block. Normally, to craft end crystals, you need to have an Eye of Ender, a Gas Tear, and Seven Glass. But what if I told you that you could get it within a fraction of the time with just a little bit of luck? In Minecraft 1.9, Snapshot 15W44A, it was possible to obtain end crystals from skeleton trap horses. Although finding one is rare, it's much less annoying than having to deal with the Enderman and gas. I will never figure out my Mojang ended up removing this. Do they hate us or something? Call me a weirdo, but I love the Sniffers because I'm a massive farmer. So you can imagine my surprise when I found out how to insta-hatch their eggs. All you have to do is place two moss blocks and a sniffer egg in front of a sticky piston. Let this run for 10 minutes and the moss blocks will now be glitched permanently, allowing you to insta-hatch sniffer eggs. Hey, stop coming after me! Hey, no! I bet you wouldn't believe me if I told you that it's possible to loot ocean monuments without even entering them. Mark the spots I'm showing you on these pyramid-like structures that are on the outside of the monument. You can pick either side, and all you have to do is place down a door and dig the block under you. If you see dark prismarine, congratulations because you've just hit the jackpot! This makes finding gold a million times easier. One thing that Minecraft is very bad for is storage solutions. The only real storage options are chests, barrels, and throwing stuff onto the floor and hoping you sort out your inventory quick enough so it does not despawn. However, these rule-breaking storage solutions can make your home look far better. If you place campfires into a cupboard of trapdoors, you can make this meat-drying cupboard. Certainly an interesting take on a kitchen accessory you didn't know you needed. Ugh, I'm a bit bored of my bed. I think I want to get a bunk bed. And thanks to this building hack, I can create a bunk bed that finally lets me achieve my dream of having a bunk bed. But I have no one to share it with. Not every person wants to live in a house on land. Some people want to live on a boat. And this building hack lets you have all of your necessities on one small boat. Time to sail the seven seas! See you later! Unfortunately, there is no good couch within Minecraft unless you use mods. However, you can actually create the illusion of there being pillows on your couch. If you break the blocks out from underneath the couch and put armor stands with dyed leather helmets, you can create these really cool pillows for your couch and really bring the house to life. They are not very comfy, though. One of the biggest mistakes Mojang has ever made is the exclusion of mobs that appeared in all the different mob votes. Mojang could add all of these mobs into each update and have it be an all-inclusive mob vote update. But instead, they only ever decide to add one from a community vote that always seems unfair. Mojang, I did not want this! Speaking of missing updates, one mistake Mojang has still not corrected is fixing the end. The end is meant to be the final location in your Minecraft world. You beat the dragon, open a portal, and boom! You end up in this weird, barren wasteland. Since the nether update, people have speculated about there being a similar update for the end. This is great, except that the nether update was three years ago! And we still have nothing for the end. I feel like Mojang employees just do not want to give us these updates. One mob that we all miss is the OG Zombie Pigman. This is for a couple of reasons. Firstly, the Zombie Pigman was just a perfect enemy that really felt like it belonged in the nether as a zombie counterpart. But introducing the piglins ruins that feeling. The thing that makes this an annoying mistake, however, is that they do not even drop rotten flesh anymore. Please, Mojang, bring this back! The next mistake was not entirely Mojang's fault. Since Microsoft bought Mojang, they have been trying to get Mojang accounts and Microsoft accounts linked. However, this proved to be massively hidden from people who perhaps use their parents' account. Since there are now millions of Minecraft accounts that have been erased entirely from the earth, people often say that Minecraft doesn't feel as colorful as it used to. Well, in Snapshot 18W15A, if you mess with a new biome blend feature, you could turn your Minecraft world into a colorful fever dream. Just fly around and see blue leaves, pink grass, red rivers, and so much more. Honestly, can we have this back, please? There is a feature in older versions of Minecraft that Mojang actually regretted adding. People love playing Minecraft in different ways, and Minecraft Virtual Reality now has a huge player base. However, did you know you used to be able to play Minecraft with 3D glasses? Back in 1.12, there was a 3D anaglyph setting on Minecraft which would let you see the world in 3D. Yet, I have never actually met anyone who used this, so Mojang swiftly erased it from existence. When you catch fire in the nether, it seems like you are instantly going to die. However, did you know there is actually a way you can extinguish yourself in the nether? Just bring splash bottles of water with you, and whenever you catch fire, splash yourself with them. The gas scream is one of the most terrifying sounds in all of Minecraft. But have you ever wondered where this sound came from? Well, it was actually made by the original and best sound designer Minecraft ever had, C418. He got the sounds from a sleeping cat, and then changed the audio to sound super scary. If you are speedrunning the game, make sure you turn subtitles on. This makes finding things like lava pools or caves so much easier, as it will notify you whenever lava is nearby. Lush caves can make for some amazing locations to build your base, but finding them can sometimes be a challenge. Well, there are actually a few biomes that are guaranteed to have a lush cave underneath them. These are the huge growth 
taiga, jungle, and dark forest. Most Minecraft players nowadays play on Java Edition, but there is a hidden feature within Bedrock Edition that desperately needs to come to Java Edition. In the Bedrock version of Minecraft, the Fire Aspect enchantment has such a useful feature. Fire Aspects can actually light blocks like TNT, campfires, and candles. I would love this in my world, but I know I would accidentally light my house on fire or something. The Sniffler is the newest addition to Minecraft, with the ability to find some incredibly rare flowers for your world. But did you know that the baby version of the Sniffler actually has its own name? The Snifflet is the baby version's name, and I just love this name and want to have a thousand of them. Minecraft has had some real attention to detail during their lifespan, but this next Minecraft secret is actually quite surprising, as the skeleton has a very specific chance to be left-handed. In Minecraft, most mobs will carry items or weapons in their right hand. However, the skeleton has an 11% chance to carry its bow in its left hand, mirroring the amount of people in the world who are actually left-handed. I am very impressed. Minecraft blocks will have a set rotation, but back in the beta version of Bedrock 1.16, Mojang were trying to figure out a way to give certain blocks a different rotation. The texture of copper ore in particular had a chance to be randomly rotated, but for some reason this was eventually scrapped. Anyone who has played a lot of Minecraft will know that a tick refers to every moment Minecraft is processing. However, did you know that there is a difference between a redstone tick and a Minecraft tick? One Minecraft tick is roughly one-fifth of a second, however, a redstone tick is one-tenth of a second. Unfortunately, I'm not smart enough to tell you why this is, though. The Elytra may actually be the most over-designed item in Minecraft. Elytra, while yes, technically wings are not actually used for flying, they work as a shell for a phantom's wings that the players then use to fly. Does this mean that once upon a time, phantoms existed within the end? Gosh, I hate them enough in the overworld. I don't want to deal with them in the end. I'm embarrassed to tell you the sheer amount of time I've spent looking for buried treasure with maps. That was until I found out about this trick. Once you're in the chunk the treasure is located in, press F3 plus G, and look at these numbers which are the sub-chunk coordinates. Make sure that the first and last digits are 9 and 9. After that, dig straight down, and you've got yourself the easiest loot of your life. Similarly, you can do the same thing with strongholds, which have tons of loot, but it's slightly more complicated. Use an Eye of Ender several times to see which chunk the location of the stronghold crosses in. This will indicate the general chunk it is located in. After that, you have to open the same menu and look at the sub-chunk coordinates. Only this time, the first and last digits need to be 4. Doing this helps you find strongholds almost instantly, which have a boatload of loot. The only downside is using the eyes of Ender can get a bit expensive. I love connecting my treehouse to other trees in Minecraft. However, I have never found a good way to make these authentic looking rope bridges. Until now! If you use acacia slabs and lightning rods, you can create this unique bridge design that even matches the area you are in. Just make sure you don't fall through them. Ah! Sharks are almost added to Minecraft, and even to this day, I wish they were. However, did you know that you can actually have jellyfish in your exotic fish aquarium? Simply use the pink glass block and a hanging root underneath it to give you this amazing jellyfish for your own personal aquarium. Sometimes people want to have some fun and sell some items to their friends on a server. And this next build hack really lets you have that amazing Japanese-inspired design. This ramen stand uses armor stands underground to create these truly authentic seats. I just love this design. As far as seating goes in Minecraft, there really is not many options. However, this seat completely breaks the rules. By using blocks like slabs, stairs, iron trap doors, and a minecart, you can make this amazing modern chair design. And the best part is, it actually works. Personally, I think dogs in Minecraft need more customization. Yes, I know they are adding the wolf armor in the next update, but I want to dream bigger. In the Bedrock edition of Minecraft, there was a hilarious glitch that would actually let you die the entire dog. Ugh, why did they need to have more dogs? Oh no, I'm going to die in this lava. Well, actually, no. As I have an expert way to get out of this certain death situation, if you are burning in lava, quit the game and then relog. When you log back in, you will actually have three seconds of complete invincibility. But to be warned, it won't get rid of the burning, so you may still burn through a crisp once you get out. Villages are a staple part of Minecraft, needed for everything from exploiting the trade market to summoning their iron protectors just for them to burn in your iron farm. However, when villages were first added, they were only meant to spawn in the plains biome. But one mistake within Minecraft's code had them spawning in the ocean and having really nice wooden paths. Mojang realized the mistake and panicked, thinking of how to deal with it. So they decided to make it a feature instead. Yeah, it's now a feature, not a mistake. There is a secret item in Minecraft that Mojang really does not want you to know about. Certain blocks in Minecraft are unattainable without the use of commands. The command blocks, barriers, and this elusive item, the debug stick. This was actually introduced as Mojang kept adding blocks to the game that were becoming buggier and buggier. Hitting a block with this stick will actually change the state of a block. And the funniest part, this mistake is meant
diamond to fix other mistakes. No, this guy's gonna steal my diamonds. Quick, quick. Wait, what's in this chest? Oh, it's scaffolding. I can use this. I just have to play scaffolding like this and then spam clicking and then I can get away. Yes, this mistake is something that Minecraft seriously needs to remove as it can be very overpowered in these manhunt situations, but it is very fun to do. Here is a secret way to make an awesome Japanese decoration. Place a warped trap door onto the top of the water, then place a glow item frame with a block of gold inside. Once you have done this, add a pink coral and surround it in lily pads, and you have a beautiful lotus flower for your nearby river. 1.20 introduced one of the funniest and best new mechanics to Minecraft, player head note blocks. However, with this also came some of the funniest death messages ever seen in Minecraft. If you wear a mob head and then die to the same mob, it will show the death message Mallow was killed by friendly fire. Speaking of player heads, there is actually a secret mob head currently hidden inside the game's code. And that is the Illager head. It has the same effect as all the other mob heads when put onto a note block as well. Warden hitboxes are absolutely pointless. A warden, despite being one of the largest mobs in Minecraft, can just casually stroll through a one block gap. Wait! Ah, no! Blue axolotls have a very different chance of spawning naturally in the wild at a roughly 1 in 1,200 chance. But the reason this is so specific is for a really tragic reason. There are actually only 1,200 axolotls left in the world. So if you ever come across one of these, definitely make sure you report it to the authorities. When it comes to textures in Minecraft, most blocks and items will have a maximum of 7. But the compass, clock, and recovery compass are on an entirely different level, as these items have over 100 textures. This is because back before Minecraft Craft Snapshot 13W02A, these items were actually procedurally generated, but it caused a surprising amount of lag, so it was just easier to give them more textures. Did you know that Minecraft actually changed the law in relation to what you can say on the internet? Early in 2023, someone said that they were going to kill someone within Minecraft, but it was taken as an actual threat in the real world. This actually ended up with the guy in court, before they decided that it was made in jest and the guy was let go without any repercussions. Eventually, this law was changed, and now it is a lot harder to get away with this. Did you know that the millionth purchase of Minecraft actually got a very exclusive item? A user by the name of Akronman1 received a special cape alongside with his purchase of the game, which cemented his legacy as a millionth person to buy Minecraft. Let's hope he migrated his account. I was building the other day when I suddenly realized that this block is a directional version that I never noticed. Deep slates can actually be placed like logs with different directions. Am I the only one who didn't know this? Minecraft is a game of luck. You always have a chance to come across a villager or to even come across a vein of 100 diamonds. However, there is one thing in Minecraft which has a considerably larger percentage, and these are the igloos. Did you know that these igloos have a 50-50 chance to spawn with a zombie villager underneath? That makes this one of the biggest chances in Minecraft. Trapping mobs is a very difficult thing to do, whether it be for some kind of farm or to point and laugh at the enemy. But there is one easy way to trap these hostile mobs, and that is by using rails. This has a similar effect to if you had the mobs in Soul Sand, but with a lot more fun. There are a lot of rare mobs in Minecraft, but did you know one of the rarest is actually the pink sheep. The pink sheep only has a 0.1% chance to spawn naturally, making pink wool the hardest wool to find. But I bet you didn't know that there is a mob even rarer than the pink sheep, and that is a baby pink sheep. The baby pink sheep only has a spawn chance of 0.0082%, making it virtually a myth. Who is the strongest boss in Minecraft? The wither or the ender dragon? Well, this is disheartening. Turns out that the wither and the ender dragon cannot actually damage each other at all. Wait, that means that their attention is all on me! Minecraft has countless seasonal events. Presents as chests at Christmas, jack-o'-lanterns on mobs for Christmas, but the biggest seasonal changes come during the April Fool's event, where Mojang have done things like taking away your inventory, making you unable to craft, and even creating a huge multiverse for you to explore. I think I'm a bit lost. There is nothing better than a nice relaxing bath after an immensely stressful day, and now you can have one of these in your house. All you have to do is use stairs, slabs, some water, and a minecart, and you can create this relaxing looking bath. Time to kick back. Wow, too hot! I love building houses with a nice medieval aesthetic, and one thing every medieval house needs is a well. And thanks to this rule-breaking Minecraft build, you can create the illusion of a bucket going into a well. This is very satisfying to look at. There are no food items I can have on display in my house, so I found out that thanks to this neat little trick, you can make different kinds of fruit barrels. By using different coral blocks surrounded by spruce trap doors, you can make a blueberry barrel, an apple or berry barrel, and a banana barrel? Sponge barrel? Some kind of yellow fruit barrel. But but what if you hate long build tutorials and just want a house that keeps it simple? Well, this base has that and more. I mean, it's so small you can't even stand up fully. But who cares? Just be careful since it only takes one creeper explosion for it to be completely destroyed. Wait, what is it you did? Have you ever wanted to build a huge city in Minecraft but do not know how to install world edit? Well, you can actually clone builds in vanilla Minecraft. In the chat, if you type slash
slash clone and the coordinates for the beginning, end, and destination of the cloned build, it will instantly duplicate your build. Tired of getting huge trees in your tree farm? Well, why don't you stunt the growth of the trees by placing blocks above them? If you place blocks above the height of a smaller tree, then the big trees would not be able to grow, which makes harvesting your trees far easier. What if you want to cook some food, but are terrified of going underground for stone? Well, make a campfire instead. You can use a campfire to cook any type of food that a furnace would also cook, and sometimes it looks a lot nicer. Speaking of cooked food, do you constantly run out of coal because you are always having to cook the raw pork chops you gather? Well, why not just light the pigs on fire before you kill them? There is a much easier way to get cooked food, and it saves your valuable resources for more important things. Personally, I think dogs in Minecraft need more customization. Yes, I know they are adding the wolf armor in the next update, but I want to dream bigger. In the Bedrock edition of Minecraft, there was a hilarious glitch that would actually let you die the entire dog. Ugh, why did they need to have more dogs? Oh no! I'm gonna die in this lava! Well, actually, no. As I have an expert way to get out of this certain death situation, if you are burning in lava, quit the game and then re-log. When you log back in, you will actually have three seconds of complete invincibility. But be warned, it won't get rid of the burning, so you may still burn to a crisp once you get out. Villages are a staple part of Minecraft, needed for everything from exploiting the trade market to summoning their iron protectors just for them to burn in your iron farm. However, when villagers were first added, they were only meant to spawn in the plains biome. But one mistake within Minecraft's code had them spawning in the ocean and having really nice wooden paths. Mojang realized the mistake and panicked, thinking of how to deal with it. So they decided to make it a feature instead. Yeah, it's now a feature, not a mistake. There is a secret item in Minecraft that Mojang really does not want you to know about. Certain blocks in Minecraft are unattainable without the use of commands, the command blocks, barriers, and this elusive item, the debug stick. This was actually introduced as Mojang kept adding blocks to the game that were becoming buggier and buggier. Hitting a block with this stick will actually change the state of a block. And the funniest part, this mistake is meant to fix other mistakes. No, this guy's gonna steal my diamonds. Quick, quick. Wait, what's in this chest? Oh, it's scaffolding. I can use this. I just have to play scaffolding like this and then spam clicking and then I can get away. Yes, this mistake is something that Minecraft seriously needs to remove as it can be very overpowered in these man hunt situations, but it is very fun to do. The husks are a very interesting type of zombie, since they don't burn in the daylight. But did you know that if you trick them into water, you can actually turn them back into a regular zombie? Many people argue about where the best starting biome is for players. Well, it is actually the mushroom biome, which is one of the rarest biomes in the game. This is because you have unlimited food, mobs cannot spawn near you, and you can grow things to your heart's content. Did you know you can jump up more than one block in Minecraft? This is called a blip up. Basically, you trick the game into thinking you are on a higher block than you actually are. This then lets you jump up multiple blocks. However, it requires a fair bit of setup, so probably is not that useful. People will often MLG into a bed. It is certainly one of the biggest flexes you can do with your friends. But how about swimming into bed? Well, if you position yourself just right as you approach the bed, then you will actually have the swimming animation while you lie in bed. Is this some kind of water bed? Representation is huge in Minecraft. However, this next mistake I do not think was entirely intentional. If you load up Minecraft in Snapshot 20W45A, you would see some cats that really showed some representation presentation that they only had three legs. Not sure how they would be able to balance like this. I could barely stand on two legs. Ah! There is nothing more embarrassing than dying from full damage. But did you know you can actually do an MLG clutch without any block or item? No water, no cobwebs, no beds or anything. All you have to do is crash into a block as you fall at just the right angle and you will bounce up on the block. Certainly one of the best MLGs to make your friends believe you are hacking.